As you saw from the title, today's video is going to be an ultimate clean with me. I'm going to be doing some routine cleaning, some zone cleaning, I've got some decorating and organizing, and some decluttering. So we're going to do a little bit of everything in today's video. All right, so this particular day, my kids were gone for the day. I don't usually empty the dishwasher. This is something that they normally do, but they're not here. So I'm going to get this tackled so that I can move on with my day. Before we get too far in this video, I did want to take a moment to say thank you for stopping by and watching my video, using my video to get you motivated to get some things done in your own home. If you're new here, my name is Nikki and this is Carrie Grace. I typically do cleaning videos that focus on the Fly Lady cleaning system. That is something I have been doing since last year. I also do some decluttering and some organizing. I also like to decorate and then redecorate and then redecorate again. It's just what I do. I've always been that way. If you're not following me on Instagram, when you're done here, make sure you follow me there. I like to post some of like the smaller little DIYs that I do. Sometimes I'll paint something and share it over there. And I like to share more decor pictures over there. All right, so today once I get this dishwasher emptied and filled back up, I am going to move on to a project. Like I said, my kids are not here for today, so I'm going to take advantage of that time and do something that I really want to do. All right, so here is the project that I am talking about. This desk is beautiful. It is something that I've had for a few years now. It belonged to my husband's grandmother. I like it as is, but do you see this detail, the like beading on the wood? And I had already taken the hardware off, but the hardware is one of my favorite things about this piece. You can see it's not in awesome condition. It's got a lot of scratches. It has really taken a beating over the years, but it's a piece that I really like. And I don't like this color wood in this house with all of my other wood pieces. In our other house before we moved, this was in a room that didn't have my dining room pieces in it. This room has my buffet and then just off of here is my dining room and I just don't like it. And I've really been thinking about painting it gray. Now I actually had thought about painting this way before we ever moved and I got chicken and didn't do it. I'm so glad that I waited though because I probably would have gone a different color direction and like I said I've decided I'm going to paint this gray. I'm going to be using chalk paint which is something that I have not used a lot. I have painted and redone a lot of furniture over the years but chalk paint is one of those things that I haven't ever used very much. But like I said, I finally got up the nerve to do this. I'm super excited about it. And so I thought I would show you guys just a little bit of the process. Now, let me go ahead and tell you, you are not going to be seeing the final after in this video. That will be coming in a future video. But I'm going to kind of just work on this and then you will get to see a little bit of a sneak peek, but it is not the final piece in this video. When I got this desk, I didn't know that it was actually a desk. 
I didn't know that it had that little secretary part on the back, like for holding mail and a letter opener, things like that. This piece was in my husband's grandmother's house, and it always had just books kind of piled up on top of it, so I never knew that part was there. I just thought it was more of like a little entryway table or something like that, but it is clearly a desk. And this piece on the back, it's kind of always kind of hung me up a little bit because I don't really have things that I would put in that and I feel like it kind of makes it hard for my computer cord and lamp and things like that so anyway I decided to try to see if I could get this to come off and sure enough there were four screws in the back and I was able to just unscrew those and it popped right off without any other damage so that was a major win because I really didn't think that that was going to be possible. The other thing that made that a huge win is now I don't have to paint all of those little spindles. So now I'm just gonna give this a quick sand. You don't always have to sand when you use chalk paint, but it's something that I didn't want to skip. I'm not doing like a heavy sanding. I'm just kind of roughing this up just a little bit. And then I will go back with some soap and water and just give it a good wipe down and let it dry before I start painting. And don't worry, if you came here for cleaning motivation, I promise there is going to be a lot more cleaning in this video. I just needed to get this project started so that I could move on to the cleaning. All right, so how many of you have ever purchased something and it had a really sticky sticker and you had a hard time getting it off? Okay, so I've got an easy trick that I wanna share with you. I'm just gonna take some lemon essential oil and then I'm going to put it on, this is actually just some toilet tissue, but you can use a napkin, you can use a cotton round, just whatever you have on hand. Put a little bit of, all, um, not olive oil, lemon oil on there and just kind of saturate the sticker and then it will soak through there and it will make it so that it's really easy to peel up all the sticky gooey mess. Now I did have to reapply just a little bit after I got the majority of the sticker off but this works really well. You can also use things like um, goof off and just all different things but this smells really good so that's why I like to use this. It's also something that I usually always have on hand so that's another reason that I really like to use it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a funny story. Now, when we first moved into this house, the first thing I did was hang up a sunburst mirror that I already had above our bed. I'm going to be hanging this in our master bedroom. The command hook that I used for the original mirror in here when we first moved in had been in our garage for quite a while and I believe that it kind of just deactivated the sticky on it and that mirror like I said it fell off that day it did not last so it broke my mirror it like messed up the edges of the starburst the mirror didn't actually break but I just decided that it wasn't something I wanted to mess with so I knew that I would eventually find another mirror to hang up in in here so I found this mirror at Ross it was like $16.99 I believe so it was a great deal it was less than 20 bucks it was very lightweight which was a huge priority for me because we are renting this house and I'm doing my, my best to not put any holes in the wall. So right here I am just hanging up another command strip with a hook that is the appropriate size for this mirror. This mirror weighs three and a half pounds. But as you can see, I'm hanging this up a different day. I have different clothes on. The reason is because the first day that I hung it up, the like two nights later it fell down in the middle of the night scared the mess out of us but anyway it fell because I picked up the wrong command hook 
and strip. I had several of them and I used the two pound instead of the four pound and obviously that did not work so I had to hang it up again. So this is the third time I have hung a, a mirror up in here. So yeah. All right, I'm hoping that the third time's a charm. All right, so the next thing I need to get done today is I need to do a load of clothes. So I am going to fold these towels and get them put away. Now, most days I fold clothes kind of throughout the day. I leave them right here and then my kids, they get theirs put away at the end of the day. But this is just towels, so I'm actually going to just go put it away and be done with it. All right, so now that my towels are folded and put away, I'm going to move on and do a little bit of zone cleaning. Now, if you follow the Fly Lady system, you know that you can do just 15 minutes of zone cleaning a day, and that really takes care of all of your deep cleaning. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The first thing I need to do is I need to clean my microwave. So I just got out a measuring cup, I filled it up with water, I put a couple drops of lemon essential oil in there. So I told y'all it's something that I use for a lot of things. I do diffuse it, but I also use it for other things. So I am going to put that in my microwave. I'm going to start it and that's going to just kind of steam the inside so that I can wipe it out very easily. It was quite dirty in there, but it actually worked really well. And while that is going, I am going to start wiping down all of my appliances. All of my stainless steel needs to be shined up. So I am going to work on that. There are a lot of different ways to shine up your stainless steel. I like to use furniture polish. I'm using Indust. It works really well. I usually put a towel down because sometimes you get some overspray from it and it makes your floor kind of like greasy feeling. So that's why I have that towel there. I also like to do this before I mop and today I do need to do a quick vacuum and mop as just part of my home blessing. I have been splitting up my home blessing through the week. So that's why I chose to do this first because then I'm gonna mop and it will make sure that my floors are nice and clean and not slick after this project. I used a bigger measuring cup than I normally do to do this and so the water was not heated up enough. It didn't really steam. So we're going to start that back up and then I'm going to dust the top of my fridge. This is another one of those this, things that I have on my zone cleaning list. I like to try to get around here occasionally and make sure that this is dusted off so that it doesn't build up. I'm just going to continue to work my way around the room and clean the fronts of all of my stainless appliances. So you can see in 15 minutes, I was able to get quite a bit done for my zone cleaning. I got all of my stainless appliances shined up. I was able to dust the top of the refrigerator and then I also got my microwave cleaned out. It was dirty, like I said, but a quick wipe after I steamed that water in there and then I cleaned the tray and then my 15 minutes of zone cleaning for the day is done.
All right, so now I'm going to take a few minutes to get a little bit of my weekly home blessing done. Now, if you're not familiar with the Fly Lady system, your weekly home blessing hour is when you take an hour during the week. You can do this all at one time, like on a Monday or a Saturday or whatever works for you. And you get all of the main areas of your home cleaned up. There's like a list of several things that you do. I have chosen to start breaking mine up throughout the week. So today I'm going to be vacuuming and mopping the main areas of my house. And like I said, I wanted to do this after I clean my appliances so that I can make sure that my floors are nice and clean since I tackled that project. And just in case you think I am cleaning a clean house, I'm going to show you all of this dirt on the floor. Y'all, I have two kids, I have two dogs, and the dirt definitely happens. But because of the Fly Lady system, I really am able to stay on top of it without cleaning all day. And I really appreciate that. Alright, so as I was moving into the living room to vacuum in here, I happened to notice a feather on the floor. These are from my pillows. And y'all, it made me think of my friend Joanna Thornton. If you don't watch her here on YouTube, you definitely should. But um, if you watch her videos, you know that she has a feather problem from her couch. So like I said, it just made me think of her. It made me smile. So I thought I would share it. So I'm just going to keep vacuuming the rest of my living areas. This living room will actually be the last one that I have to do. Here in just a minute when I mop, you are going to see that there is a bucket in my fireplace. So I'm just going to tell you the quick backstory on that. A week or so ago, we had a lot of rain. Sunday morning, we woke up and there was water all over the living room and it was pouring in from the fireplace. So, y'all, it was a lot of rain. It was a lot of water. So that bucket is still there. The maintenance people, they are coming, but they haven't come yet. All right. So 
Here's a sneak peek at how the desk is coming along. You can see I've got the gray paint on there. It's looking good. This is the last time you're going to see it before I show you the final product in another. All right, so I am setting my timer for 15 minutes, and as you can tell here in just a minute, because I am dressed and my hair is done, this is the next day, and I thought I would just share with you another 15 minutes of zone cleaning. So this particular week that I filmed this was the week of the kitchen zone cleaning, and so I am going to go through and wipe down all of the things on my counter. Now, I give my counters a good wipe down, you know, just about every other day, I kind of move things and wipe under them, but I don't always pick up all of the knickknacks and wipe them down. I like to do that once a month. So I'm going through and I am picking everything up and giving it a good wipe down because these things, they really do get a buildup on them if you don't do this regularly. So that is how I'm going to spend my 15 minutes of zone cleaning today. Earlier today when I was looking at my zone cleaning list, I realized that I have not done my coffee pots this month. I like to descale them and so I decided I would go ahead and work on this as well because it just takes a few minutes to kind of get it set up and then throughout the day kind of as I walk through here I can fill it back up with water and just keep cycling water through it until it is nice and rinsed and this one this is just a drip coffee maker I like to use vinegar in my Keurig I usually use citric acid I have also used citric acid in this one it works just fine but for whatever reason I prefer to use vinegar in this one so that's what I'm doing. I'm just descaling my coffee maker. Now, some coffee makers require that you use a filter while you're descaling. I don't have to do that with mine, but just use caution. All right, so here is my list on Cozy that I was just talking about. I have started using the Cozy app to keep up with all of my cleaning lists. Now, this is not sponsored. This is something that I have been using for a long time for other things, and I decided to add my zone cleaning and my daily cleaning checklist in here and it is just working really really well so if that's something that you're interested in um, you might like this I found that using a paper control journal was just not working for me at this point so I have switched to using this I like that you can add things very easily you can change things in your list as you have checked things off you can kind of move them down so that you know the things that you haven't done yet are right there at the top and it just makes it really easy it's really convenient and I just wanted to share it's something that I have been sharing some over on Instagram I will probably continue to share because like I said it's just really working for me all right so all of my things are done for the day and if you watched last week's video you may remember that my bathroom was trashed I have had a hard time keeping my bathroom counter nice and clear and I had a really sweet subscriber say hey why don't you get a basket to go under your sink and then you can pull it out every day with all of you know like the things that you use on a daily basis and then put it away and y'all I needed to be reminded of that I used to do that in the house before this I don't know why I wasn't doing that here but this just kind of needed to it needed some help so I'm going to do some decluttering in here 
and then I am going to make sure that one of these baskets in here has all of my daily essentials so that I can pull it out, put it on the counter when I'm getting ready, and then it will be super easy to put everything back. When we moved in, everything just kind of got thrown in the medicine cabinet, thrown in the cabinet. I mean, I tried to give it a little bit of thought, but Obviously it wasn't working, so it was time to tackle this. Now I've had several people say, now what if there's a project that I want to do or something that I want to clean, but I do the fly lady system and we're not in that zone. Is it okay to do it anyway? Yes, absolutely. If you have done your routines and your zone cleaning and there's something in your house that is begging you and you've got some time to take care of it, just do it. Just do it. Don't worry about what zone you're in. Just handle it. So I pulled everything out. I'm going to just look at everything and then I'm going to start putting things away and hopefully this will work a whole lot better. Because I wear my hair curly probably 90% of the time, I don't need my brushes and things like hair brushes out where I can get to them super easily. So this basket that I was using for all of my hair stuff, I'm going to put my daily essentials in. And I was able to make it work so that all of my makeup brushes went in here as well. I've never liked having all of my makeup brushes just out on the counter. I just didn't really have a good place before now to put them, so that's where they were. But I was able to get all of my daily essentials in there, including my makeup brushes, so that was a win. Now all of this, this cabinet is still gonna be full. I was able to get rid of a few things, but I've got a lot of products that I'm really just trying to use up. They are things that I'm not going to repurchase, but because I have them, I'm going to finish using them and then I won't buy them again. So this cabinet will eventually have a lot less stuff in it, but for now, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I decided to kind of separate some of my nail polish. I've had it in a container, but it's had to be in the very back and bottom of my cabinet, which makes it hard to get to. So I decided to put that in the medicine cabinet since all of my daily essentials were now in a basket. And I'm pretty sure I will probably paint my nails more often now just because I can see this and I can get to it better. So I just pulled out the colors that I typically use for summer. And then I'll, I'm going to leave the rest of the stuff in this bin. These are things that I just don't need very often, but I do still use them on occasion. So like I said, I'm just going to put them in this container and put it in the back of my cabinet. And as you can see, this turned out so good. I just really like being able to see all my little stuff right there. Those are all of my masks. And then I've got nail polish. This needs to be refilled. That's cotton pads and Q-tips. And so this feels a lot better. And then down here on my counter, you can see there are no more makeup brushes. Everything is put away. I've just got a little tray for my jewelry as I take it off. And then there's the basket. Like I said, this is still full, but in this little plastic drawer, that's where I have like washcloths. My blow dryer goes on top of there. And then my basket, I can just take it in and out. And this is going to work so much better. I've actually been doing this for a little while now, and it's working great. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It means so much to me, and I really appreciate it. All right, so once this project was done, I did go back to my kitchen, and you can see I am pouring out the vinegar water, and I'm just going to continue to fill this up with water and cycle it through so that this is done. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.